Hey guys, this is Ellison Cruz welcoming you back to Le Noir. And here we are on the red lipstick mode where we left off, which I'm not going to lie, like two weeks ago. I've barely touched this game since then just to catch up on my uploads and stuff. But uh, now we're actually going to get started on this and I'm actually going to turn off color. I'm still... I've been thinking about it. Wait, what? this would be episode 12, which would be even, which would be black and white, but I thought I turned it. Uh, crap. Uh, I think it's off, but let's just, or black and white on. But, uh, anyway, here, um, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this mission and do this stuff. But anyway, we saw this at the very beginning of the last one. And here is our first case, uh, on the, uh, on our new thing. I already forgot what words. After traffic, I forgot what it was. It's not vice, but it's something else. But this lady's getting beat up to death. The full moon. And here we are, and here's Mr. Uh, Irishman. Let's get this over before lunch. Yes, because I've got some beer waiting in the microwave for me. That wasn't even an Irish accent. I don't even know what I was doing. But anyway, Floyd, as we remember from the very first case. And here's our new uh, partner. And he's actually quite a bit different from Bukowski and what's-his-face, the guy we had before. But Oh, we're on Homicide. That's That's what it was. Okay. Yeah. Kind of going into this cold, but because uh, the last time I p I recorded this was probably back when you guys saw episode 11, back when that was doing that. But actually, I don't even know. But anyway, we're we're getting promoted here, and we're in the major leagues now, Sonny. So Rusty Galloway, our new friend. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get All right, yeah, sorry, I just were to go check really fast while this is going, but anyway, Sign of the Werewolf, that's a murder thing, but, uh, so completing a desk unlocks the streets of L.A., yeah, so this is basically, if we go back to the cases in the main menu, we'll be able to, uh, free roam during the cases that are there, because street crimes will become, uh, available and unavailable as we go through the different ranks, so, um, we can always go back and do that, which I might do that, I'm not exactly sure how to tell, uh, which ones were missing and which ones were not, which I guess leads to some guesswork, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to go get started on this. And this is episode 12, so... <laughs> yeah. Actually, we're about a fourth of the way through the game, I think, um, if we go and look at our statistics. I don't know if we can tell from here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 24.9%. So, not too bad. Considering this, that's still... That's just for the main game, but for the cases, you'll... Yeah, 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 yeah you know. So, uh, yeah, God, I it has been a while since I recorded, I swear to God. Um, I think probably my way of narrating might be slightly changed, considering I've been watching a lot of different LPs lately, and usually, uh, you know, I'm kind of influenced by those that I watch and stuff like that, and I don't know. It might be a bit different. I was watching my old ones. I figured some stuff I need to improve on. Oh, and I forgot to mention something. I went ahead and signed up for the uh, uh, Rockstar Social Club, which is really easy, and we got a new outfit for that. Which is uh, Chicago Lightning. So shoot straighter with the Thompson bar and shotgun. When we wear this, we'll be more effective with those guns. But uh, was this the one we already had? Yeah, this is the one we got in the last mission, didn't we? Yeah. Well, we're going to go ahead and start wearing Chicago Lightning for a little bit. Because that's a new uh, thing. And I actually, I bit the bullet. Literally. And uh, I bought the Rockstar Pass that has all the DLC. So I'll be showing that off later once we get to the Vice Desk. So I just want to let you guys know that because uh, I'll be showing those off. And this actually looks kind of dumb. I don't like it very much. But let's go and drive to our destination. You know now, I kind of want to uh, just warn you guys. This is kind of a, I guess, you know, kind of might be somewhat offensive. I don't find it offensive at all. But I could see, like, some younger job. viewers or whatever or gonna be him or seeing that. this as kind of an inappropriate episode for a couple Galloway. reasons, I guess. <laughs> but I just want to apologize in advance and let you guys know that because, you, I don't want you, so you know, I don't want to so say I didn't warn you before watching if you get offended at nudity and stuff like that. So what did he mean by the werewolf? So here, the Dahlia, the, the Black Dahlia. Wasn't that a movie? Yeah, Isn't that a band, a terrible Black band? Dahlia. band who had like, what a horrible night to have a curse. that song is so bad. I don't care who you are, what you say. Actually, I don't know. I think I remember it being fun on guitar because my brother bought it on PlayStation. I mean, PlayStation 3. Yeah. Oops. I don't know if I was missing my mic or what. But. 
That's a one-off. That's a one-off, you know. So women this year because of the war. You should know that. Yeah, of course, but it's been six to months. People every day in combat. I'm sorry. <sighs> right. to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? Yeah. It's that simple. I like how Cole like is said, so like straight edge sometimes, but he's like at the same time edgy. And we'll see that in just a second. Well, actually, in a little bit, but that was kind of the precursor to what we'll see in a bit. But here, we're going to be at the crime scene. So, crime scene, 9.35 a.m. So early. That guy's all smiling. He's like, hey, I'm going to sell this on the black market. Uh-oh. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another yeah. tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Oh, yeah. A mother asshole, a sister. <laughs> How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Yeah, There's go call. There's, like, deck him across later. the face. And that guy, that guy is that one guy uh, on the Even left. The on the genuine. on the left that, yeah, him. That's, uh, what's his face? Thank that one actor, I forgot his name. The tool, remember? That we, uh, that I still haven't done any annotations for, unfortunately. I'll probably have it by the time I do this, but, uh. Yeah, thanks a lot, Sigaby, for watching all those things and letting me know what's up, man. It's pretty cool that you're doing that. But, uh, because it really definitely helps that, because going through the annotations takes so long and it's annoying because you have to, like, time it perfectly and it's just really irritating to have to, like, go back. And it's cool that you're doing that, man. Thanks. So, anyway, here we see a naked lady, blah, 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 whatever. If you get offended by that kind of shit, then why are you even watching this? This is, this is rated M for a reason, and this is actually, like, not even, like, I, it shouldn't be less offensive that it's a brutally murdered naked woman as opposed to, like, a sexual, sexy naked woman, you know? But, uh, ironically, it's not, so... You were first on the scene? It's yes, not like they're going to like cover her up for the sake the of protecting the no, children's sir. eyes. This is rated M for a reason, but I think it's perfectly acceptable for nudity and language where applicable in a video with. game. It's just like it's just like going overboard with it. It's just I don't even know, but uh, anyway. Now where we see these footprints here. Hmm. I don't know how we can see this in the contrast what of the black and white but they're size eight. Men's size eight so men's size eight i don't know about you guys but that sounds kind of small my feet are like 12s <laughs> and i don't know one time i was at camp and we had like a scavenger hunt and um one of the things one of the things we had to go do around camp was to find a size 13 shoe uh, and nobody could find it but it was like kind of a trick because the guy who assigned it was the one with the was the <laughs> was the one with the 13 foot well i guess sandal i guess would be the thing but it's, it's just kind of funny because nobody found it out until like towards the very end when everyone had that one as their last one but anyway we're gonna go talk to crothers the coroner not crothers our partner jeez the victim's personal effects are still where they fell so okay so now we're gonna go ahead and investigate the body actually so yes this is an awkward so now we're gonna go ahead and examine her face and we're gonna try and find the cause of death or just see what the blunt force trauma is so could be anything from a baseball yeah, it's kind of sad i'll have more details after the autopsy right, well thanks buddy all right let's get out of that now we're gonna examine her left arm which actually oh my god oh my god like oh my god what about the wind on the finger or something a ring most likely I assume it was taken post-mortem. And so, for those of you who don't know, post-mortem is after death, which always confused me because mortem, I don't know, mortem just doesn't sound like, I, I like I grew up thinking it was something else, so that's why I was kind of weird, but now it's like one of those things that I know for sure. And now, last but not least, we're going to inspect her torso. Hmm. Fuck you, BD Tex. You can't see the X, but... uh. BD supposedly stands for Black Dahlia. Fuck you, exactly. So now we're done with that. Okay, wait. Did it? Did we not get it, or something? He didn't say anything, or maybe he did. What's the right? All right, the there we go. BD, Black Dahlia, Tex. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Hey, don't be By a the jerk. Way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. So he's gonna run text on the lipstick, which is actually what uh, is what was used to write on her. So that's red lipstick murder, obviously. But anyway, now we're gonna go <clears throat> take a look at her stuff. And over here, we got a handbag and a brush. Now this brush is completely pointless, but we'll take a look at it because we might be able to take this home for us and use it to, you know, rub down our chest. But let's open this bag now. And oh my God, the victim's bag. Let's just go look around. Here we got lipstick. We're gonna can't really do much with it except for press A, so it keeps telling us. And here we've got 
classic yeah, Carmine, I guess. <laughs> so th this obviously wasn't used to write on our victim, so let's put that away. Looks like the killer was actually smart enough to take it. All right. Now that that's done, now we have one last thing. Uh, right over here, we're going to find this globe over here. This is kind of interesting. We got a little puzzle here. Let's go solve this, sucker. So let's go press A, I say. All right, now we're going to rotate it so that it matches. So at the top, we're going to want to put this about right there. And then, yay, geography, my favorite god. Like, the first day I took uh, geography in my, like, uh, well, my, uh, I'm trying to think of what it's called, my history. Yeah, my AP history class is world history. I sucked so much at geography. Like, God, it's like, all, like within the first week, she had us, like, write, like, draw the world map. I'm like, what? <laughs> Whatever. But there we have that. And once we solve it, it opens. And, oh, my God, it's a lighter. <laughs> it's the property of the Bamba Club. Ba -da -ba -la -la. No, just kidding. God, I remember when World Tour came up. I, I made a vocal FC video of that song and it got so many views. I got like 14,000 views in like a week. I, just, I was really surprised. And I actually got the FC, which was weird because I kind of sucked at singing at that game. But And there we go. Mission complete. Or I mean, all the things completed. So let's get out of here. And unfortunately, we can't jump over her. We have to like walk carefully over the dead body. Now let's get out of here. All right. So... Let's go. Uh, do we want to take the corner car? Nah, let's just take our car. We're going to be nice to Carly this time. Crothers. Yeah, I think I told you guys about the story about my friend Skyler. His last name was Crothers, and he had a really bad lisp, and I always made fun of him. Like, I'd be like, hey, hey, hey Skyler Crothers. And I was such a jerk. That was, like, freshman year, though. So it was okay. So now we're going to go to the Bomba Club, and it was a nightclub and bar frequented by the murder victims. So let's set that as the destination and have our buddy drive there for us. Cause he's no fun. The he's kind of got like a dry, sarcastic you can't rule it humor out. to him. You need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? Big head to hang on your wall. Yeah. Collar of the decade. Collar of the decade. Been working evidence for the BD case for six months and got next. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. <laughs> okay, today. Uh, What's more likely? Werewolf comes back around, leaving us a note in the court. He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department? <laughs> what well? the hell are we doing here, Rusty? Are you? The guy opens his mouth again after six <laughs> Look at this. Look at him. God, and that car is like. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? This is obviously this is turned into a video game. That's not totally fantastic. That's not totally fantastic. The Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder it was them, locusts. <laughs> Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Gee, I don't know. Not dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You know what? This, they wouldn't have, have, have us doing understand? this case unless so there was the something in, in, in it for us. In, the well, uh, in it. For us, in it, I guess. I don't know. Okay, there. Finally done with that talking part. Jeez, that took forever. So now we're loading, loading. I get to interview some people. Yeah, oh joy. Interviewing some Seca DJs. So here we are at the Bomba Club. Cocktails, get it? Cocktails because they're tails that cock. Just kidding. Air conditioned? Okay. It's a really weird place to park, but let's head on in. God, how many times have we gone to a bar in this game so far? I mean, I swear to God, we've been in a bar in at least every LAPD. case thus far. Were you working far. here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can Look. start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? No. Temporary so again, with the temporary barman's jeez. I fell in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Look, this is a very Five nice place. Seven, I like it here. Pounds, Except for the crappy hair, chairs. About 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Celine Henry? Henry. What? Yes. yes. Do you know anything about her? Perhaps. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? Like, I obviously. Why wouldn't you I? To the back like, no, it's okay. Where's a hibiscus? A hibiscus? What is this? 1940s? Uh, never mind. All right, so let's get out of here. And, yeah. He's a little parched. He's a little lazy, more like. Get out of here. We'll just finish this ourselves. Now here, go ahead and talk to this jerk. Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating I don't think he's really Celine a jerk, Henry. but whatever. You'll see. Celine? Christ. 
Like, why are you wearing such gay clothes, man? He's like, look who's talking. Jacob, her husband, we go way back. Okay, so. Sure, she's a regular. Selena's. Was a. Lovely woman. Okay, we get it. We get it. You're in love with her. So he's 52 years old. It's gray hair. <laughs> Alright, so let's go talk to him. And his name is Dick! here with anyone last night. Not at first. What? That's so weird. Like, Dick is, like, short for Robert, I think, or something. I forgot what it was, but it was something really random. Like, I don't know. Like, what, what was... Like, Robert is also short for Bob? Or Bob short for... Whatever! Okay, so let's just go ahead and answer... Uh, with truth. So he's no, telling the truth. No. He's been in a couple of times. Okay. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. <sighs> and you definitely want to answer this I one, because if you do... Ba -ba 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 -da -da -da, he's going to give us a license plate. I'm not sure how to obtain this otherwise. We probably just won't have it, but... Here we got 2B889, and we got an achievement! <laughs> At the Bomber Club, get Dick McCole to give up the license plate of Celine Henry's male companion. Very nice. And 6 15, 2011. Oh, yes. Which is, yeah, like two weeks later. <laughs> all right. So, let's, all right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And those, those spent cigar cigarettes look really terrible. My pen says genius. This She's Henry, not a genius. Whoa. Oh, oh. Just kidding. It's such a weird song. Celine always wore a red like garnet that. ring on the large side. Uh, oh, so, life, like so these are, these ones are kind of a bit more difficult sure. unless you already know, but it's way back in her flying days. So way back in her flying days. Before? No, it was uh, it was before Jacob. Before Jacob, you say? Before Jacob? Well, you know what I have to say about that, my good man. The way you look at me makes me feel happy inside. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're gonna tell me. <laughs> okay, I bought it years ago. Carried a torch for Selena in those days. Yes, I always have. God. Okay. <laughs> Raw man never knew about so. it. So. Very nice. Okay, now knowledge of her husband. Very last question. You know the husband? Perhaps. I'm sure, I know Jake. Sure. Hey, he man. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Yeah, it would suck marrying someone who went to a Think bar every night. Wife? No. No, not in. My opinion. Not my lol opinion. Well, you know what I have to say about your lol opinion, good sir? I say I doubt you. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably I'm going to be overly brash about it, too, and use my hand about. motions to Stole dictate my lol opinion against yours because mine is fact. I don't know. I rang him up, asked him to come pick her up like usual, <laughs> but he refused. Oh, that's such a sad pick some night thing. To push him over the edge. I rang him back around 1130, but no answer. So when Crothers said that the time of death was a little Thanks. after midnight, oh, that's a little, a little, a little weird. Thing. Would you have an address for Celine? So, oh, and we'll get this One even if we get all the questions wrong. So. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. No. no. So okay, now we have to investigate Celine Henry's residence. So I guess we're gonna head on over there. There's nothing we can really do here. This is such a weird thing. Like, why would you want to eat next to plants like this and? What do you, that guys, they're having like a staring contest, like both of them, they're, they have the exact same expression, the exact same, look at their fingers, they're holding the cigars the exact same way, occasionally taking a puff, and he, hey, hey, don't blow that in my face, boy, let's get out of here, hey, get out of, get off your, let's mm. get out of here, yeah, let's get out of here, but first we're gonna call in that thing, come on, come on, okay, okay, thanks for, Finally, let me use it. I guess I couldn't do it while they were in the middle of a conversation. That just would have been damn rude. Operator, give me dispatch. So. Putting you through now. This is annoying sometimes. Cold Try out a cell phone. Alright, alright. How can I help, Detective? You can help by giving me a blowjob. <laughs> yes, Two boy? I'll need to contact the DMV. That's weird. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Uh, sure. Please. <laughs> Please. Thanks. Thanks. All right, let's get out of here. Sheesh. Okay. So what's kind of funny is we can actually let him drive even though he's been drinking. <laughs> and I think they have a different conversation, but I doubt it. I think... They both come up basically the exact same thing, but 
It's like, yeah, you've been drinking a little bit. You can Find drive. Who's helps you get through a working day? Sharp is my investigatory <laughs> yeah. instincts, fellas. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. You as know long it. As you're not falling over, Rusty. I'll let it slide. <laughs> Yeah, I'll even let you drive, man, just to make you feel no, you better about yourself. Job of a healthy thirst avenger, we owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the so yeah, my family is it's like in Seattle. There's practical. someone got murdered Maybe here. Like we were Hollywood ranked Boulevard like the top the most on the top the most friendliest the online community in the nation. Uh, I think like last month or something, and someone, a, a bicyclist, actually got murdered. They got shot, and uh, they died in Seattle. Like they lived long enough to actually. Uh, you know, call the cops and get into the ambulance and stuff, but yes, eventually he was airless to Seattle, and uh, God, he brother, died, brother. apparently, or she, I don't Worst even know, but it was weird because my that. mom, she's a pretty hardcore cyclist, and she was first on the scene, which is kind of scary, I guess, in a sense, like, to, I don't know, like, really, I don't think she squatted over the body and investigated, actually, she didn't even die, though, or the guy didn't even die right away, but... Uh, yeah, so the funeral's today, and they went down there, and so I kind of got the house to myself. I got to work in a little bit. It's about 1.30 p.m. here, so, yeah, 1.32, and so, yeah, that's all we're going to do for this episode, you guys. Um, I'll probably upload another, or, yeah, I don't even know. I've only uploaded, like, I think eight episodes of this so far at the time of this uh of this recording, but uh, next time we're going to investigate over here and kind of get a new lead in the next episode, so... uh. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this spectacular episode of Le Noir. It's been quite a while. hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I don't really know how it stands up to previous ones. But I uh, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm stumped. Ideas? Only way to do this. Go knock.